Negon manufactures injection molding machines for the plastics industry, and our product ranges from 30 to 600 metric ton. Between MapleSoft and BNR, uh, it was a great opportunity to get the two companies together to support us in what we needed, which was a machine with performance, uh, reduced cycle time, and repeatability, and that was achieved in a fairly short time. The uh, technology allows us to, uh, as I mentioned, reduce the cycle time, and reducing cycle time is, is a big benefit to our customers because it's more parts in the box, so it's more revenue. We are trying to reduce costs by using uh, um, digital twins and uh, simulation. It's the first time we had a project uh, in Access where we had a hard time to control it in the first place. And uh, we were going down the path where we uh, were beefing up the, the motor, gearbox and everything. And uh, it didn't feel right. We also didn't know how, how else to do it. BNR introduced us to MapleSoft. MapleSoft brings a powerful simulation technology that can actually duplicate real-world behaviors. MapleSoft's role uh, in improving the design and the performance of the machines uh, was basically to come alongside Negon to understand the problems that they were facing, to understand the problems that their customers were facing, and to try to work with them to help solve that. We were trying to improve the motion profile of a machine that we sent out to a customer. We are trying to uh, uh, use a small hydraulic cylinder to drive a huge mass. We call it the cylinder platen. And meanwhile, we have to uh, synchronize the motion of cylinder platen with the uh, electric motion uh, moving platen. Because, because of vibration, we cannot synchronize these two platen very well. MapleSoft team helped us build a module to simulate the cylinder platen motion. This is the most critical part of this project because the machine is huge and we already shipped the machine to customer in the States. There's no way we can do all kind of test by hand, right? MapleSoft give us a perfect, very accurate uh, model. So we can use this to test our control strategy. So with that digital twin, um, you're able to connect it to a control code strategy to connect your control code. In this case, BNR's Automation Studio was used to build the control code for the machine and the digital twin model was connected to that control code and you could see the control code react to the model and the model react to the control code in real time. So basically just write a few lines of code, we can have the full control to the model you build. Basically it's seamless. It's so, make our lives much, much easier. Almost, uh, we can uh, take the control right away. We can try all kinds of different things. It's, it's so unbelievable. We were able to create very close to real world conditions. And with, because of that, we were able to solve the problem that we were facing. This is really, really amazing. The thing is, increase the speed out from the software side. There's no, not any additional cost or extra cost on the hardware side. It's really amazing. Before we improve the cycle time, on the same production line, they have one operator here. But after we did upgrade, because it's much faster, they have to put two operators on the same line, because it's too fast. We didn't have to change the hardware at all, nothing, no redesign. And uh, at the end, the access did exactly what we wanted to do. So it was perfect. If you don't take the approach where you're using simulation, uh, you may have to make several, several iterations of the mechanical design uh, build one prototype, build a second prototype, build a third prototype. And that whole process is very costly. And of course, most machine builders uh, get stuck in uh, a trap, a cost trap, and it's too late to go back then and restart. I mean, some things you couldn't even do otherwise, right? We would have redesigned the access, uh, put the new hardware on, I mean, something like this takes between half a year to a year, right? We always had a hard time to get into simulation because uh, uh, traditional engineers may have some resistance or don't understand. It's new to a lot of companies, but the companies who are actually adopting in it 
investing the time in it are seeing massive returns. Returns in innovation of their, new, of their new machines, returns in cost savings for the machine designs where we're saving cost on parts because you're able to simulate that machine ahead of time, and then uh, uh, returns in time to market. So you get to market faster with your new design. At the end of the day, that gives uh, us an uh, uh, advantage competitive advantage in the market. If I was to look at the, the market, the OEM machine builder market, five years down, ten years down the road, I see uh, the machine builder really challenged uh, to be able to get their machines out on time to market. And the other big challenge that I see quite a bit uh, is the, uh, the support level within the machine builders. You know, having the engineers that are capable and available to uh, develop at the pace that's required. One of the biggest things for me is the relationships that uh, we've built with this and the relationship, the strong relationship we have with both BNR and Negon. Starting to work with, uh, with Maple was a total game changer for us. There was not this uh, a brutal learning curve. I have nothing but good things to say about it. We were able to produce a really, really great outcome and I'm happy to see all the new innovations that come from this. And I'm totally confident that the other projects we are planning on working on are going to be successful as well. Without them, uh, we wouldn't have been able to accomplish what we did. So I appreciate that.